Welcome to our first ever monthly news update. It's gonna be super rough, unpolished and quickly made. So if you're looking for a pretty video, skip this one and watch something else. So this month we did four big updates. The first one was our online community and we really like this place because it's sort of our own and we're not relying on any other platform or advertisements or whatever. Um, but it's still very in early stage. So we did a complete redesign, added a lot of new features and this thing will always be under development and improving but it's a big step forward from what it was before. And two things I really like about it, one is we added community news. So this is basically a section where you can see what others are making and posting. Sort of a collection of the entire community, what is going on and what they're making all over the world. And another tiny detail is we added like this little flag in the forums so you can instantly see where anyone comes from. But I don't know all these flags, but I really like seeing the diversity of people from all over the world in there. Update two, I started my own Patreon page which is basically a way for people to support monthly so we can continue all these projects. Now I'm super excited about this because this is probably the closest I've ever been to a real monthly salary. Update three, we made a full story behind Precious Plastic, basically from how it started as a graduation project to where it is now. It's basically four years compressed into an eight minute video. Watch on our YouTube. Update number four, the biggest one of all, is we started working on Precious Plastic version 3. But this is a massive step, so we made this online campaign where we ask you for help in terms of money or donating skills. So yesterday we launched our campaign for Precious Plastic version 3, coming soon. <laughs> I'm uh, about, right there. I'm dying. <laughs> I gave up on life. He gave up on life? I'm now just retire. Yeah, kind of annoying that he's gonna retire in the middle of my workspace, but yeah. That's yeah. how he has been, uh, that's his life for the coming period. Yeah, I've lost, I've lost it. <laughs> we did get a lot of people sign up to help out, which is super great. Could do a little bit better in funding. So after, uh, after all these updates, we started working on designing this map for Precious Plastic. We have a lot of people all over the world that want to start Precious Plastic. And some people, they have the budget and they want to have a set of machines, but they don't really know how to get them. Where on the other hand, we also have a lot of people that want to build machines, but they don't know who want them. We would like to have this map where people can easily find each other. So let's say you want to start in Bali, Indonesia. You just sort of see on the map everyone around you that wants to help out or find a local machine builder. It's basically a network of people that want to start recycling plastic. And we started working on this with people that signed up to help out coding from all over the world. So we have our Slack channel, chatting and GitHub and started building it. So that should be coming along in the next month. We also had a lot of product designers uh, dropping by in our workspace, just giving them a tour around, show them the machines, the materials to work with, because they are want to get started making products for precious plastic. We still have a lot of international people that want to help out, but they need a place to stay. So we're sort of looking into that as well. And then we got Emil. The first one really started helping us out full time. It's a Dutch guy. Let me, let me get him. Emil! Yeah? It's him. <laughs> Ik. <laughs> Could you tell a little bit what you're doing? Of course. Um, the last weeks I tried to make plastic more valuable. Um, I tried to work a bit on the details, making clean facets and... That is shiny, man. Make it shiny like a diamond. Uh, when you see this material, it looks a bit more like marble. This is with the extrusion and the pressed and the compression. So I try to give a new kind of look. For example, this is the same material. And then you see the difference between those two. And this looks a lot like paint, but it's actually just like a yellow plastic with the extrusion into a mold and then compressed. Uh, this is with, I don't know what we call the... Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but this is made with um, like with what you're working on wood. Um, and, the, and the textures are pretty new for plastic, I think. 
so the feeling and the way that you see it and how the light breaks on the plastic i think those details are very important to get it very valuable all right so thank you for the week. update <laughs> next month not next it's week next month <laughs> right. not every week no no. No, no 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 all right super nice guy and he also makes super nice lunch hey. and meanwhile matia went to kenya to do research for precious plastic hey dave how are you doing we are currently in kirby nairobi the biggest slum in uh, africa and there's a huge need for precious plastic here. A lot of uh, plastic bags all over. As you can see, some plastic bottles, not too many. But generally, lack of any possible sign of infrastructure when it comes to uh, waste management. Plenty of plastic all over the place. A lot of work for precious plastic, my man. Now this is all the stuff we've done this month. But there's also been a lot going on in our online community from people all over the world. So here we have community news. So, community news. First off, we have guys in Spain that made a super nice video about their precious plastic project, from how they built the machines to what they're making out of it. But it's, it's just all super nice filmed and edited a different perspective on fresh plastic. Then we got a nice article in the newspaper featuring a lot of you people from all over the world. We got a few nice products sent to us from Tellers. Started working from these glass jars, which are pretty universal, where I don't know, sambal and stuff like that and peanut butter is in. And they made this new object on top of that with the injection machine, and it's a water filter. So in here you can screw it open. And you put in some carbon. But it's also interesting the way how they make their molds. Their CNC milled, super accurate, super nice. So once you put in some water in the jar, you can just put it upside down in another one and then it sort of slowly filters it um, to make sure your water is clean again, which is a super nice application. They also made some keychains, again, super nice mold. Um, with some bottle caps from milk bottles, I think, which you can reuse again to screw on here. So thanks for sending that to us. Uh, if you want to see more what these guys are doing, I put a link in the description below. And meanwhile, in our forums, they're developing a bigger version of our shredder. Guy in Indonesia is pretty excited about this. Have a look in this topic in the forums if you want to know more about it. And finally, if someone sent us a picture from Twitter where Lush, you know, the company that has all this soap and many stores around the world, they built our extrusion machine in their store to uh, reuse their packaging again. We like that you do that, Lush, great. But it would be nice if you could, I you know, just send us an update or something like that. We know it's all open source and you can just take it, but it's just nice for us to see who's actually using it. <laughs> but either way, keep up the work. All right, so that was our news for this month. I hope it wasn't too rough to follow. Um, again, maybe we'll get better in the future. Either way, thanks a lot for watching this video and supporting us on Patreon. I mean, that's the reason why we're able to make this news and continue all these projects. Thank you very much for that. And we'll see you next month.